What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Blue Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Volvo XC40, courtesy of Younger Volvo in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because there is a refreshed look for 2023. There's new headlights, new front grille, new front fascia, just to name a few. Not only that, the XC40 is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. And this is luxury from Sweden. And vehicles from Sweden are kind of rare here in the US. So that makes me excited. But anyways, in this video, we'll be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering fill, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so let me first start by saying there are new trim levels for 2023 core is going to start at thirty-seven thousand six hundred forty dollars the plus trim level is the one we are in today starting at forty two thousand forty five dollars and lastly the ultimate starting at forty five thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars by the way that was all pricing for the front wheel drive configuration if you wanted to add all-wheel drive you can do that simply add two thousand dollars then to any of those prices but so the regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the xc40 is going Going to be the same however there are different power numbers essentially the b4 is going to be specific to the front wheel drive variant and then the b5 is going to be specific to the all-wheel drive variant of the xc40 and that is the one we have today but powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder for the b4 194 horsepower for the b5 247 horsepower so substantially more there then 221 pound feet of torque for the b4 258 pound feet of torque for the b5 by the way both configurations coming with mild hybrid drive so that should help with any turbo lag from the get-go we're going to be testing that out in a second but power sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic zero to 60 time differing quite substantially 8.1 seconds for the front wheel drive 6.1 seconds then for the all-wheel drive mpg numbers coming in at 24 in the city 32 on the highway for the front wheel drive 23 city 30 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the xc40 i did want to mention there are a couple different configurations where you can alter the driving dynamics a little bit you do have an off-road driving mode and you can also alter the steering feel we're actually going to put that on firm right now so i'm going to go ahead and change that right off the bat but having said that that's about it for the different modes on this one so let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the xc40 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 volvo xc40 here up to speed all right here's our straightaway let's kick it yep oh my gosh dang man this thing is quick all right, no turbo lag, probably thanks to that mild hybrid system on this thing. That was pretty darn good. And let me tell you guys, most vehicles that are turbocharged four cylinders, like I alluded to kind of earlier, you do get some kind of turbo lag, including my own vehicle. But in this thing, there was none of that. So that was wonderful. Instant acceleration, 100%, not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway in the new XC40. That was pretty darn good. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.9 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that is going to come in at 120 feet, which is a very good number on paper. But I will say, I'm not a huge fan of the braking feel on the XC40. It's definitely on the softer side of things. I feel like it takes a little more pressure on the brakes to actually bring this thing to a stop. It's not a very natural feeling braking feel. And I don't say that about most vehicles. So I am specifying that in the XC40. You guys, when you test drive it, let me know if you agree or disagree. But then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back independent multi-link rear suspension. As far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine actually my short test drive here today but perhaps the thing i noticed the most was the lack of cabin noise coming into the cabin so i'm going 54 miles per hour right now and when i was going slower i was getting a lot of echo when i'm just talking right here to the camera to you guys and that's because there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin so i'm kind of a big fan of that that was pretty cool as far as steering feel goes as i mentioned to you guys earlier you do have the option to firm up that steering feel creating a heavier weight to the steering which is what I just did like I said and you can immediately tell the difference between the steering feel I am a huge fan of this heavier steering feel having just put it in that mode so let me go ahead and actually just take it back out of that mode I want to see if it 
it instantly relaxes the steering much more loosey-goosey so let's go back into that firm steering so huge fan of the steering wheel with it in that firm driving mode i guess you could call it for the steering so big fan of that that touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back and typically with an suv of this shape you're not going to have any issues so 100 on point there and those second row headrests actually do fold down i got one of them folded down right now so that's going to be even better visibility but anyways rain sensing windshield wipers i did want to mention for forward visibility come standard on every single trim level across the board so whenever the xc40 detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's essentially automatically going to turn on those windshield wipers for you so it's just one less thing you got to worry about there so i'm a big fan of that as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Volvo XC40. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Volvo XC40 finished in crystal white metallic. In case you were curious of our exterior color name. But let's go ahead and start up front because there have been a lot of changes for the 2023 XC40, including a completely redesigned front bumper. So you guys could probably tell. There is quite a bit going on up here. Revised front grille, and by the way, when it comes to that front grille, there is now a bright or dark theme. Uh, it was called something different previously, but we have the dark themes. So that's gonna add gloss black accents as opposed to silver accents everywhere, essentially. So keep that in mind throughout the exterior walk around here. But to the sides, those headlights have been reshaped to kind of look more similar to the new Volvo C40. I'm sure you guys could probably see that. Less boxy, more kind of swoopy on the insides there, but they are LEDs. LEDs do come standard with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights of course automatic feature coming with that along with automatic high beams as well i personally love that feature essentially when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim those back to low beams then when the vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bump it back up to high beams so very convenient feature there did want to also mention though pixel led headlights it's an option for 350 dollars essentially each headlight then has 84 pixels of lighting that adjust for example if there's a car coming in the opposite direction it's going to adjust the angle of the low beams if it senses that vehicle coming and then adjust it back when the vehicle is gone so kind of interesting concept there did want to also mention there are two new colors for the xc40 for 2023 for jord blue essentially like the c40 recharge that i reviewed and i probably mispronounced that again but that's okay and also Sage green is another new color for the 2023 XC40, but LED fog lights then coming with the plus and ultimate trim levels, meaning you're not going to get them on the core. So I do want to emphasize that. And that's of course down to the bottom corners there, that front fascia and aluminum or gloss black front lip. Again, depended upon the theme that you go with. Again, we do have the dark theme. So we got the black front lip up front. So Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new redesigned front end in the comments section below. And that about rounds out the front end. So they'll go ahead and make our way to the side of the XC40. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, starting all the way to the top there, you will either find aluminum or gloss black roof rails. Again, depending upon the theme that you go with. Chrome or gloss black belt line molding. Rear privacy glass is going to come standard across the board. Gotta love that. Take a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. And they will also be heated. And again, if you go with the dark theme, they're actually going to be gloss black as opposed to the body color that I just said. But anyways, then take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch double five spoke diamond cut alloys for the core and the plus. Our wheels look dang good in my personal opinion down there. 19 inch five spoke diamond cut alloys for the ultimate. And there are some 20 inch wheel designs available. And actually 19 inch wheel designs available as well. And we actually do have 19 inch wheels on our plus trim level that we have with us here today. But anyways, pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, body color shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper affixed to the rear glass there got some volvo lettering spelled out horizontally that definitely looks good you got the b5 all-wheel drive badging or you're going to get the b4 badging if you get the front wheel drive configuration led taillights of course comes standard because this is a volvo it has to be extra safe with those leds and all the way down to the bottom you're either going to get aluminum or gloss black trim on the very bottom portion of that rear bumper there but ultimately down below you will find dual exhaust outlets although they will be tucked away for both configurations there so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip
Since it's been out since we are around to the back of the XC40, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a height adjustable power tailgate for every single trim level across the board. And by the way, that's newly standard for the 2023 model year as well. So yet another change there as well. Cargo capacity is going to come in at 20.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, bumping that up to 57.5 cubic feet. But there is a lot going on in that cargo area. There is a 12 volt power outlet back there. There's grocery bag hooks. And one of the coolest things is if you lift up the cargo floor, you do have a little bit of in-floor storage, which is pretty cool in itself. But when you lift up the cargo floor, you can kind of lock it in place to have an additional three more grocery bag hooks if you wanted to. So I always find that pretty cool with Volvos. They've done that in some of their other vehicles. You have cargo lighting back there. You got a cargo cover that also comes standard. So overall, there is a good bit going on in the cargo area of the XC40. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 36.1 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders that does come standard. There is a 12 volt power outlet as well. There are dual phone charging ports that come standard back there, rear ventilation along with that. And if you were to go with a climate pack, which I guess are $550, by the way, you can also get heated rear seats, which we do have with us here today. So you could spoil the rear passengers here in Western Maryland because we do get a lot of snow here. So that is pretty cool. Then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar coming standard. You get memory settings for up to two different drivers. It can be found at the driver's side door there, also coming standard for all trim levels. Leather seating is going to come standard yet again, but you will get a suede leather combination if you go with the ultimate heated front seats are going to come standard gotta love that and my very favorite part about the seating you actually have the flag of sweden found on the passenger seat along with every other vehicle i think that volvo makes but still i always like the little added touch it's all about the attention to detail but overall with the lumbar adjustment on this thing especially definitely not going to have any issues finding your perfect driving position but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for all trim levels and it will be heated with that climate package I was telling you guys about that gave you the heated rear seats as well. So that is pretty nice. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Volvo logo on the one side and all of your buttons actually are located on the side of the key. You got lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear tailgate there. But do wanna also mention key one is gonna be black, but then your key two is going to be orange and that's the key that i personally like but anyways it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that black engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there and so once started up when it comes to the gauges you will find a full digital gauge cluster that comes standard across the board and you can actually display your navigation up there if you wanted to as well the by the way the navigation in all of all those are powered by google so it's google maps so that is pretty darn cool there's your outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty uh, road time recognition so it's going to tell you the speed limit of any given road but overall it's a very nice looking gauge cluster i will definitely say that then making our way to overall interior quality if you're looking for a panoramic moonroof that we have today you're going to go with the plus or the ultimate trim levels high level led interior lighting for the plus and the ultimate trim levels yet again and the coolest thing about those led interior lights there's really no button for them you just kind of put your finger over them and it's going to turn on and off which is pretty darn cool i don't think i've ever seen it done like that before by the way to open and close the power moonroof you simply just swipe your finger backwards if you want it open swipe it forwards if you want it closed so i like the cool little easy gestures that volvo has included in this thing you also do get a crystal gear shift knob by orfors if you go with the plus trim level that we have with us here today and that looks dang good they actually redesigned it for this xc40 so big fan of the look of that thing that always looks dang good but universal garage door opener does come standard and that's just underneath of the frameless rear view mirror as well so that's pretty cool aluminum interior accents coming with the ultimate trim level driftwood trim coming with the plus and that's found on the doors just above the passenger side glove box as well and i'm a huge fan of that wireless phone charger can be found just in front of the shifter there that is pretty darn cool and i remember in the past there's actually going to be a button to open the glove box but it looks like they did away with that because i actually have a handle on the glove box this year so maybe that's a little bit of a change there but just like the c40 it looks like you got the little grocery bag hook that can pop out of the glove box if you wanted to hang a bag there so just notice that and there's actually a little section for uh you to slide a pen in there right next to that or a pencil i guess but that is pretty cool too i like how volvo did that another thing i wanted to mention on the interior quality is the doors and just around the center console here everything is very soft i don't know what kind of material this is but it almost feels like carpet it's just a super soft feeling and there is a little bit of indented storage uh, right around the center console here as well. So that's pretty cool. Just in front of the shifter, you do have a couple phone charging ports. There's a 12 volt power outlet. You got your 
dual cup holders to the right of the shifter there, electric mechanical parking brake, decent amount of storage within that center armrest, and yet again, a removable trash bin in typical Volvo fashion. They always like doing this. Uh, they do that with their C40 as well. So I'm a big fan of that too. So a lot of cool little Easter eggs in the Volvo. I'll just put it that way. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. Nine inch vertical color touchscreen display does come standard. Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Climate control settings you could check out up there as well. Heated seat buttons you could check out up there. There's that heated steering wheel button you could find up there as well. But so then of course you could check out your radio information up there as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. First one is going to be an eight speaker sound system with 250 watts. That is what's going to come standard. But then there is the upgraded sound system, which is a 13 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. But that is not the one we have today. We actually do have that eight speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> actually not bad because there was a decent amount of bass with that eight speaker sound system clarity was pretty darn good as well and it's not your traditional six speaker sound system which is what you usually will find in bass sound systems in SUVs. so the fact that you got eight speakers in a vehicle the size of the xc40 it's not even a larger suv this is a pretty darn good sound system if i'm being honest for the xc40 so i absolutely personally have had no issues there with that sound system but anyways last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the xc40 in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board with a 360 degree camera that is going to be optional we do have that option so i wanted to show that to you guys as well giving you that bird's eye view which is always is going to lead us into safety and so IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus to start with, which is the very highest rating, like I said, by IIHS, that pretty much says it all right there. Front side side current airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, rear parking sensors, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and roadside recognition then as well. And if you were to go with either the Plus or the Alderman trim, you're going to add to that front and rear parking sensors so that is pretty darn cool but overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the xc40 brilliant safety in this thing i absolutely love that the flag is sweet and on the passenger seat i always love that lots of nice functionality in the cargo area with all of those grocery bag hooks i also like what they did with the passenger side glove box here with the coat hook in there and the little place to put your pen i don't see that on most vehicles out there the crystal shifter is absolutely amazing as far as room for improvement goes multicolor ambient lighting would look pretty darn good in this thing i would definitely add that since this is a luxury suv a lot of other manufacturers like bmw mercedes benz and even hyundai and Kia, they do multicolor ambient lighting beautifully. So I would love to see that in here. And also, again, with the braking feel, it just does not feel natural. It's very weird braking feel in this thing. You really have to stomp on it to get it to stop. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the XC40 and the redesign in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.